the classical limit in quantum mechanics. The celebrated classical limit in quantum mechanics is best understood intuitively in this tasteful formulation of quantum mechanics uh, in phase space introduced about three quarters of a century ago but still not being taught in schools. At least I didn't learn about it uh, when I was a student in college even though one of his, its inventors, Eugene Wigner, was still around. We treat that in our concise treatise of quantum mechanics and phase space. The fundamental fact about the constant of quantum mechanics, the reduced Planck constant, the H bar, is that it's dimensionful. So it can serve to properly normalize phase space variables X and P. Now imagine a quantum distribution in phase space, a so-called Wigner function, that is properly normalized to one, let's say. And imagine you are a phase space bird flying away from that distribution and still scoping it from far away. Now the units of the particular detail of the distribution appear smaller and smaller. However, imagine that you compensate for this shrinkage of units by uh, still keeping it normalized to one. And so what you will notice is that the microscopic quantum distributions appear less uncertain and more spiky, more precise, more well-defined in phase space, which the uncertainty principle would like to discourage you from seeing. And the macroscopic distributions involving hugely larger actions than H bar start morphing into the standard distributions of classical mechanics, the Liouville densities that we're familiar with from classical mechanics. We intuit that best in the classical, uh, in, in the quantum harmonic oscillator, which we deal with in our book, uh, and which has several characteristic behaviors that are very reminiscent of classical mechanics. Uh, and possibly it might serve to bolster somebody's intuition about the classical limit.